Hi, I'm Marty Barola, and welcome back to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Tom. He asks, what is SSL pinning? Well, before we can talk about SSL pinning, we need to discuss secure web connections. When a client application, such as a mobile app or a web browser, begins a secure session with a server, there are three things that the client and the server must agree on. One, how will keys be exchanged? Two, how will data be encrypted? And three, how will messages be marked as authentic? The server may decide to use RSA to exchange keys, AES-256 to encrypt data, and SHA-1 to sign messages. If the client can support these messages, the client requests a certificate chain from the server. Once the client has validated the certificate chain, the public key is extracted from the certificate. This is where SSL pinning comes into play. Developers can compile the public key into the application code. This essentially pins the key into the application. When the client receives the public key from the server, it compares this key with the pinned key in the application. The key should match. If the keys don't match, the client terminates the session. Now there are three types of SSL pinning. Public key pinning, as I just described, certificate pinning, and SPKI pinning. Certificate pinning involves pinning the entire certificate instead of pinning just the public key. So what happens when your certificate expires? Well, you'll have to update the client application with the new certificate before the certificate on the server is updated. For this reason, public key pinning is the preferred method of pinning because if your certificate is properly renewed, the public key won't change and you won't have to update your app. SPKI pinning, known as subject public key information, is the newest type of pinning. With this method, a hash of the public key and other metadata is pinned to the application. Applications that do not use SSL pinning are susceptible to man-in-the-middle attacks. This is when an attacker secretly relays and possibly alters messages. SSL pinning allows developers to add an extra layer of security in their applications and is easy to implement with libraries such as AF Networking for iOS and OK HTTP for Android. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.